Damn. Damn. Because he took a fucking hour. He took an hour. So I went to hell and back, got a demon harem, and then. What do you mean he took an hour? Back. I mean, that's the normal time. What's this motherfucker talking about demon I mean, harems how, full of waifus? A... What I want to do is why you said he took an hour. Like, we start. We're, we're starting at the normal time. That's how long time. it takes to beat Helltaker. I went back to. I, I beat it. It's I have to tell you that there is a shit ton of fan art of. Whichever demon is wearing the suit or whatever, apparently she's like the toppest waifu. I don't know. I guess I have to play this at some point. Welcome, the friends. CEO this isn't the hell? <laughs> this isn't the anime waifu taku uh, talk. Whatever. Uh, this is episode fifty-six of New Game Plus, a D and D five E sandbox time adventure. Thanks for that resub. You may have noticed uh, we're having a little trouble talking over each other. The reason for that is. There's like a half second delay for all of us. Zoom is not working very well. It seems like Roll20 is actually not working particularly well either. Uh, Sputnik is not working very well across yeah. the board. So, you know, just deal with it, friends. That's what we got. We're going to try to continue yeah. on despite that. Yeah. Roll20 thing is not new. Been you know, speaking of waifus, <laughs> have, did you, have you seen what I've been playing on uh, on my Switch lately? Nope. What's that? What you got? Uh, I've, I'm doing my third run through of uh, Fire Emblem. Oh, which class are you doing? Blue lions, or what are, what are they called? Blue tigers. Blue, blue lions. lions. Yeah, that's yeah. that's Dave's blue house. Blue angels. Yeah, I have to that's... get my blue lion started as well. But you know, like that's not the waifu house. That's the husbando house. Uh, Everybody's got... like. It's got Mercedes, so... Yeah, listen, Mercedes ain't shit. It's about Annette, and Annette is the top-tier daughter. No, Annette is like, Annette... I want to protect this young woman so that she can keep killing for me. I want her to kill everyone. Uh, Annette, Annette will be the um, necromancer from hell, warlock that destroys all. Yeah. Mercedes, yeah. Mercedes is learning how to cook with ash, and she will be the one to prepare my, my meal balls. for me when I get home. Sure, whatever. Right. Ash my balls. Let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> Everybody's like, <laughs> Felix, only... he's so Sundere. He's just like a cat. At first, he's like, Ugh, I hate you. But then he's like, don't go anywhere without me. Then people are like, I think oh, I'll let him die. Dimitri, I really love Dimitri. His story is so tragic. Yeah. Yeah, Ash Blue Lions is absolutely the house of the husbandos. Everybody's like, Sylvain, the thirst for the men of the Blue Lions is real in the community. I let Felix die in a practice battle. What the fuck, fuck is wrong him. with let you? <laughs> Felix you is amazing! Right. You, do die, you let people do that. You I beat Felix that. to death with a wooden sword? My god! Wait. I'm I'm three months into the game, you know, or three months into the you know playthrough, not real time, but game time, and he was fucking level one or two. I'm like, bitch, get out, just go home. No, so Felix is incredible. He's one of the best sword masters in the entire the Dewey, game. Or what's his name? The Dewey. How do you say his name? The Dew. The Dew. Uh, yeah. His, his axe broke because his axe broke because I wasn't paying attention. So I threw Felix in front of him to save him because <laughs> he was wow, getting surrounded. That's so cruel. So, all right. Uh, let, let me tell you, F Felix becomes the best fucking nuke in the game. Yeah, I it agree. goes actually no, it goes Lysidia, then it goes. Like, the like, they're they're nukes, the two so, uh, biggest nukes in the game. I Whatever. mean, I believe Fuck that Ignatz is actually better than Felix in the end game for yes. the sword mage. If you make yeah, yeah, if you yeah. make Felix and. Ignatz, Ignatz is into shit. Sasuke's, they like yes. that. Felix is slightly better at sword, but Ignatz is incredible at magic. Mm -hmm. It's fucked up. It's really Ignatz? weird. Ignatz is the archer from the Golden Deer who's like, oh, I'm, so, yeah. I'm so cowardly. I just want to draw yeah. artwork. I really that... love the, the saint, whatever her name is. Oh no. Is that bull cut? Yeah. Is that bull cut? <laughs> yeah, bull cut kid. Oh, uh, yes, okay. yeah, Bill Cut guy, yeah. Yep, and then eventually he's no like, idea. I take my glasses off and I become super cool now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take down my ponytail and I take off my paint covered overalls. Yeah, he removes his training weights when he grows up and all of a sudden he's like, that's right, now I'm one of the best characters in the game now that you've made me a sword master instead of a shitty archer. <laughs> 
some of the arches can be really devastating though. Yeah, uh, yeah. what's her name from uh, um uh Bernadette is the best Bernadette, archer in the whole yeah. game. No, who's the one with the paint on her face and tattoos on her body? What's her name? Petra. Petra's good too. Petra, yes. She Petra. was she was my Listen. waifu on the first one when I did the uh uh what's uh the the girl leader Black Eagles. Black, yeah. Black there's, Eagles. there's a there's a Guy, there's a guy archer from the Blue Lions who's just like fucking sniper god. Can't you can't? It's, it's Ash. Ash is the only one that starts. Listen, Ash, Ash sucks yeah. first yeah. and second. You really Ash can't. Ash Mercedes be... are the only ones that start with both. In the end game, Bernadette has a chance for eight attacks around. This is literally unbeatable. She's a fucking monster. <laughs> She's like, all yeah, right, well, how about to... I snipe from five spaces away and lay out like eight criticals in a row? And I was like, sure, whatever. Just yeah, defeat his... the final boss in one hit. I don't care. Uh, but his thing, <laughs> I'm vi vehemently opposed to any character that's just like, yeah, let me drag you out of your bedroom. No, that's the best cupcake. part. <laughs> the culmination of her story is after your dad dies and then you go, and she, it's the first time she's left her room for the entire game and you're like, Oh my god, this is super sad. Like, this is worse than my father dying. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That, sh that shit was like oh, super cringy. Like, the fact Still that they have like something garbage. like that in this game. Oh my god. I said I wasn't yeah, going to extend stupid. out the intros, and I literally had like a one minute intro for myself, and here we are, <laughs> seven minutes in, still talking about Fire Emblem. My week has been terrible. I don't actually know if I have a show on Tuesday anymore. Uh, that D and D show could be canceled, could not be canceled. It's not clear to me yet. Uh, uh -huh. Possibly one, maybe two cast members may be departing. Not clear to me. So whatever disaster that turns out sure. to be, hmm. we'll find out down the line. In speaking of disasters, <laughs> my house. So I was about to say the same thing, David. I was like, <laughs> my house may be filled with mold. So uh, again. I also mean, it, it happened yeah, yesterday. Yesterday morning. Yeah, but is it, but I'm saying, is, didn't you have this problem before with the like the wall being? Like, yes, it was the exact thing? same. It was the exact same place too. Last time yeah. it happened, it was because the laundry machine that was directly next to, or the washing machine that was directly next to, the refrigerator, uh, overflowed. So maybe you're gonna have to remind me here. But do American houses have like those little exhaust fans on the on the walls? Yes. Leading. Like, I have, pulling listen, the air American out houses again, have so. uh, American houses have the total indoor air conditioning that other countries don't have. And I don't know no, if you we... can hear it, but I'm running my dehumidifier like five feet away from me. No, I can't hear okay, it. Okay, good. Because I've worked very hard to switch my gain up so you can't hear it. Uh, it is very loud despite these sound dampening headphones. <laughs> Incredibly loud, actually. That's it. That's my intro, and I took slightly over one minute. Nice. Ooh, Nick, it's been a little while since we've caught up with you. What do you got? What do you got for me? Um, yeah, like I said, playing Fire Emblem, I did something that I normally do not do, but I took a risk, and now that the reviews are out, I'm pretty happy. Um, but I pre-ordered the uh, definitive edition of Xenoblade Chronicles, Okay. So I will be diving into that. Um, on for, uh, not this weekend. What is the this, definitive this to give you? What, what's the difference? So they completely the redid. Or... They completely redid all of the character models. They updated all of the graphics. They um, updated the quest tracking system. Oh, so it was less I of a see. Grind, Sorry, I thought it was like a amazing. special edition. Sorry, I thought it, it was is. like some special edition. It is. But you it's... said it's. You call it the definitive edition, yeah. but it, that's, that's what like they call game it. That's not what I call it. The game is eight no, years no, old, I, so I th yeah. I thought you were it's saying it's actually ten years old, but <laughs> no, I I thought you were saying that you got a special edition version. Oh like, no, you know, like no, it's getting the remake. Oh, fuck that, fuck that. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, I don't do that shit. Okay. Um, I'll pay for the game, not for a plastic toy or something. And oh, yeah. that the soundtrack, the soundtrack got redone. Uh, some of the soundtrack got redone. <laughs> they actually didn't have enough money, apparently, to redo all of the music orchestrally. So they did like the 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 most common music that you hear. They redid all of that music, like battle smart. music and theme music and shit like that, which is really smart. Um, updated the graphics. Um, they've also added an, a brand new 
like 15 hour long epilogue to the story, uh, which apparently was cut content from the previous game. So they put it back in the game, but also updated it and redid some of that. Um, and actually you can access that if you don't want to play the original game right from the menu when you buy the game it's available to play now if you haven't played the first game or the original game you shouldn't do that because it literally spoils the entire game apparently in like the first five minutes but uh it is available to play right away which i think is pretty cool um and it starts you out at like level 60 so there's no kind of grind uh that you have to do normally but uh i'm excited i'm gonna play through the whole original story because it's been probably Whew, seven years since I've played the original. So I'm just going to play the original all the way through again um, and enjoy it because it, it really is. It's probably one of the best modern RPGs that's ever been made. Don't at me. Okay. All I have to it. follow up on that is uh, I, I am considering upgrading to the special edition of Final Fantasy VII Remake just to get the like eight disc soundtrack that goes with the game. <laughs> I mean, that's it's pretty so cool. big. I mean, all the music and the music sounds music is incredible. Yes, in that remake, it really does. That being said, is it not available on like Spotify? I, I, don't, I don't use Spotify. Uh, okay, boomer. Yeah, that's right. I use YouTube when I want to listen <laughs> to music, and I don't really listen to music. I listen to that is like the least efficient way to listen to music. TTRPG actual plays in my car on YouTube. Mm, yeah. yeah. Here's what, well, here's what you do. You get a third. You get a different. You get a third party YouTube app like YouTube Vance that lets you play music and or full screen videos with the screen turned off. Wait a minute. Though. Hold on. Hold on. So. You use your data in your car to stream YouTube? Yeah, I have T-Mobile. I have unlimited data. Oh, um, no. I yeah, I'll shit. say, like, you know there's, like, a shitload of podcasts that you can just download. And Let me tell you about to. podcasts, that's, that's... all right? I was going to get into the podcasting game, and I was like, all right, I'll just convert some of my, you know, YouTube files into podcasts. And they were like, here's the top podcasting site. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll store my podcast there. And they were like, all right. You know, are you cishet? Are you are you POC? Are you a minority? And I was like, okay, no, 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 no. And I reached the bottom, and they're like, okay, we're just gonna filter you out then. And I was like, what the fuck is this? No, what the fuck? Like all of the filters on the site are to remove me. No, store your shit on SoundCloud and hook that RSS feed up to fucking iTunes. You can Why? you can upload like your shit is... to Spotify podcast as well. Okay. Like, or yeah, yeah, like what the I don't what I don't know what app you're using, but I've never seen that shit. You don't have to submit them anywhere to like if you want to like syndicate it to like go to one place and they'll put it everywhere. Then mm-hmm. maybe there's like filtering and shit for that. But you can no, just do it uh, yourself for Spotify. It's uh, rpgcast.com is supposedly the top place, and like every single filter would remove never one of my shows. I, I, I wanted, They're like I all women, all, all he, ages, no swearing, like every I single wanna, category dude, would remove uh, me. I, I wanna I wanna say that, that <laughs> that's insane. I mean, which it is, but it's like given my interaction with most of the RPG community, I'm not surprised. Look, I'm like, dude, there are some really good TTRPG. Oh, I'm podcasts. not saying that there are, Actual but it's just on on the Apple iPod or on I the Spotify. I just, I just do it on YouTube I mean, mostly I'm from about like the filtering specifically. The big places, I, I like and Sundry, my Critical Role. I mean, I I just I just use Spotify. I can't because especially because Spotify has a thing where you can, as long as you have the subscription, like you pay for it, you can just download all the shit to your phone. And granted, it's in a format that you can't like rip from your phone, but I can be like, oh, I'm going to be on a plane. Let me just grab this nine hour podcast and just delete yeah. it on the phone or all my music that I like. And then I can play it offline. It doesn't actually require a connection. I mean, it takes up space, but my phone is like music and cat pictures. That's it. So, like, one of my favorite, now this is not an actual play, but one of my favorite, I think they use GURPS. Audible, I guess. Um, but one of my favorite. GURPS. Uh, one of my favorite tabletop role playing games is called the film reroll. And what they yeah, do is yep. they mm-hmm. take like classic movies and they play characters from the movies. And it starts 
following the script, but depending on how the dice goes and what they want to do, <laughs> the movie gets totally fucked. I like, bet you Jaws would not end up anything like how that movie there, was yeah, supposed there, to go. There's, there's also worth pointing out they don't tell... Amazing. Yeah, they don't tell the actors as well what movie they're playing in. No, yeah, they just show up like, today we're doing Back to the Future or Jaws or E.T. or whatever, and they're like, you're going to be this character, you're going to be that. And depending on how the fucking dice rolls, they have to like react and and it's it's really good. The film re-roll. It's on I was gonna say I mean, there's a lot of movies Eisner, where the plot has to be twisted so much in order for it to make sense, where if you were to go back and redo it, you oh, none of them make sense. Like that. None yeah. of the movies make sense. But the it's Home Alone ones are really good. The which one? Home Alone would be good. The Home Alone. Yeah, one. Home Alone one's good, the Back to the Future <laughs> one's really good. It's so fucking. I want to play a Donald Trump idea. in Home Alone too. Yes, <laughs> but I mean, it's such a good idea. Like play the play the Canadian. Do, like, make sure it's the Canadian the version so it gets removed, please. All right, everyone, we're gonna play Memento. Oh, no, the, oh the whoa, Friday, that's the, a bold move. <laughs> the Friday the Thirteenth one's real good too. Yes, it is. Like, I like, honestly, there are very few stinkers in that one. They're all pretty funny. And it's they made a big, big list of the Star Wars ones as well. So, that one... yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have to say, uh, just got news that apparently President Trump is planning to put an executive order about social media usage tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, uh, expect that Twitter will probably bitch. be slammed. I Maybe he hasn't read the First Amendment to the Constitution. Does he not understand what the concept of free enterprise means? I don't, I don't think he's read the Constitution at all. Well, no, he has read the Constitution in front of people in the White House, and he said it's like it's written in a different language. Yeah. So, I think The he, First he... Amendment's pretty clear, though. The government can't tell individuals or companies what they are and are not allowed to say. I think he has the, the, the schoolhouse rocks version of the Constitution. I mean, I was, I was going to say this earlier. Yeah, there would be it's pictures like, and singing. He might be able to yeah. follow free, it, you know, free uh, enterprise. There's a bill on Capitol Hill. And Trump's like, yeah, that's how a bill works. Look, no, free enterprise, noun. An economic system in which private business operates in competition and largely free of state control. Well, well, he got pissed this off because fucking, this is a Wendy's fact or a McDonald's fact menu, checked. sir. This is a Wendy's. Twitter fact checked his shit, yes, um, and he got pissed off. Instead God. of instead of defending what he said because he knew it was bullshit, he just attacked Twitter and got all butt hurt like oh, a little bitch. God. I know. Well, I, I don't want to get into this whole conversation. I just want to say, social media could be very different tomorrow. Uh, Maybe this be, will I mean, be the end of Twitter forever. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, people keep I mean, saying Twitter is dead. Go to Slack or something, and I'm like, I don't know what Slack is. I mean, Slack, no, well, Slack, Slack is, is like Discord. Like Slack, Slack, Slack is just a fancy IRC. Slack is like work. It's Discord with uh, the, man. The all I'm saying is that about a year ago, it's uh, Discord without porn. A year ago, <laughs> RPG Twitter was like, I'm so over Twitter. It's time for us all go to Slack or something like that. And I was like, okay, like, whatever. You'll it, you'll still be here in ten minutes, I'm sure. Well, yeah. it's like I mean Slack, it's just it's just Discord without the voice chat. Cause I used to be I used to use it for guild stuff in Warcraft. That's all it is. Like we re, we, we replaced Slack with Discord because we had like event server and yeah. Slack. No, and I then agree. we replaced it. Like it's it's just fancy IRC. It's not yeah, it's an IRC. thing. Cause you have to be invited into channels. It's not mm -hmm. a social media thing. It's just a big ass chat client. Yeah, is, I, agree. So. I mean, look, Discord covers all the things I want to do when I want to interact with my audience. I feel a little better if maybe there was a little less Nazis on board, but they've been pretty good about clearing those guys up. So I mean, that's I mean, you know, I, I, the best I, my biggest complaint with Discord beyond the fact that they will not partner me still is that when I was having the psychopaths continuously rejoin the server, pretending to be different people and having conversations about how much they hated one member of my Discord. I was like, listen, these are the same people over and over again. And they oh, were yeah. like, we can't discuss that. And I was like, okay, but they're, you know, they're getting around IP bans and it's really obvious. They barely change their names and just can, can you get rid of these people for me? And they were like, we can't discuss that either. And I was like, okay, thank you. You're, you're Wait, worthless. So I, what, what is being a Discord partner, D? I've never even heard of I don't of know, so but I want to be it. It, okay. Oh, you can get like video <laughs> chat rooms and stuff like that. Well, I think you also uh, get, you get some higher, um, 
priority for uh, server performance stuff. So you can have sure. like, and you get like a nice I mean, badge like, and invocation yeah. to. Well, a lot of them. I mean, and... I'm, I'm in a couple of servers where so they're, nothing. they're partnered in. Really nothing. Well, look, well, I'd I mean, like if, to also if, be a Twitch partner, but that's not happening either. So. If you're uh, a big I gave enough... up on that dream a long time ago. Silver if YouTube you a... button, maybe in like 2035. If you have a big enough community, <laughs> being partnered is really important just because your Discord server will not shit itself if you have more than 20 people talking in voice or, you know, whatever. Sure. Um, I mean, I get it. I'm just poking yeah. fun. I mean, my biggest problem with Discord is that you can't actually, like, block people because they designed it in a way that, as the devs have explained it, there's no way for them to not show for them to not show messages from other people. So that's why if you right click and block somebody, so this message was blocked, but it still pops up. So it's just, you can see all these people. It's just the way they designed it because it has something to do with the unread Bones. messages thing. It would still show up unread. I was like, I don't give a fuck if it still says unread messages. I don't want to see a motherfucker if I block them. I, just, I don't, but they, they did a lot of shortcuts. There's a lot of spaghetti code in there. That's just stupid. Well, it works for what it does most of the time. Yeah. Except for but, that time know. where uh, one of my mods accidentally banned somebody. I almost kicked somebody from mine the other day because I had Discord up on my phone. I fell asleep and I woke up with my face and it was about to right click. I was about to kick somebody from my Discord server. You know, thing well, I it's wish really Discord easy had, to do that. One thing I wish it had is like right beside pins and stuff, there would be like a thing where it directly like link or like shifts the page if someone mentioned you rather than having to like scroll through to find like the highlighted message because i like i don't open discord for like a day at a time and then maybe someone added me on a random discord i'm like well, you've got the recent i'm, I'm never gonna then. find this well if you just re recent mentions and then it'll show it'll show the server it shows the channel the server and then whatever the message is my, my problem with Discord is it's incredibly um, <laughs> annoying and difficult to do the notification settings. So, like, oh, yeah, if they had every like auto... 20 fucking seconds, I've got shit going off on my phone, like someone just going LOL and some fucking random channel. That I don't even know what the hell it is. If they had an auto, to like, time, you can't it's... fucking mute it. Ugh. If they had an auto, like, like a preferences thing. Like when I join a server, I do not want to see anything but oh. my name. Yeah, that's that's what I, I want. I, I mean, you can mute. Is, you're hired, Andrew. You can mute channels. Well, yeah, but what he's saying is, like, can, yeah. what he's saying is, manually go through every goddamn that's true. channel. That's true. He wants he wants to be able to set like go into your settings and set a global. Like for example, when I join a server, I mute the server. And I only so, get a notification if someone ats me directly. I want to have a global setting on my profile. So any server yeah. I join, it automatically enforces. Make me turn that shit on thing. rather than have me go through and turn it off. Ooh, bingo. Yeah. That's like, annoying. Automatic suppress all, all. all or here yeah. or whatever and automatically... Um, like if yeah, it was if it was just on my PC, I wouldn't give a shit. But like I'm at work and all day, my fucking stupid turn off ass smart wash is going off. off. My... Well, it would be a turn off push notifications. Yeah, on, on my. Well, but then server. like if Arthur needs to get a hold of me, it's, it's the only way he gets hold of me. You know? Well, I mean, I... you can you can mute pu you can mute push notifications for or turn them off for servers, but it will still if someone directly message you, it'll still show up. Yeah, that's like, what I have. It direct we just, um, on my Discord server, we just enforce a rule of anybody other than an admin at all somebody, uh, you will be, uh, it'll essentially be like decimation. You'll be beaten to death. And so, Oh, yeah. That'd be I, mean, you know, I mean, you know, you know, you know, you can turn that shit off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whose intro were we in the middle of? I don't know. I think so. It was mine, but I'm done. Drummer that's boy. <laughs> we got an old tangent. It's fine. So we'll uh, I'm Drummer boy. I make music. If you don't know this by now, I don't know how to help you. But <laughs> I agree. You don't know that by now. Dude. You know what? You know what? I said that once on an Eric Volgara show. I was like, I don't need to do an intro. We're like 27 episodes in. If you don't know who I am, get fucked. And then someone in chat was like, this is the first time I, I watched this are. show. Yeah. And I was like, go back and watch episode one through 26 then, bitch. We're on what? We're on what? Episode 56. If you don't know, the drummer boy is it does music stuff by this point. You just... That's amazing. I mean, sorry. We just can't. Yeah, but... I make music and I put it on the internet. You can find it on Spotify under Drummer Boy or Spotify under Roleplay Radio. That's where all the roleplay music I made is. And then as well as uh, Bandcamp. I keep on forgetting that I have that 
but I have them and I have music uh, on Bandcamp. A lot of it's free. So if you just want like old role playing music from like five or six years ago, those are name your price. So if you want like, old I want the bard is back. That's up there for Good. name your price. You that's can what I want. For free. That's a hot track right there. I remember yeah. when that shit dropped live on stream. I was like, oh shit, this yeah. is a hot track. I tried for two weeks. I annoyed Shannon for two weeks and I like annoyed JP to get me in touch with Shannon for two weeks to try and get her to freestyle over it before I released it. <laughs> but it never happened. <clears throat> anyway. Got, got anything else? Uh, I'm taking the rest of the month off, not doing music stuff. Just like, I think I hit burnout because everything I make sounds terrible to me right now. So I'm just going to take a week off. Not yeah, doing I must anything. have hit burnout on streaming like five and a half years ago. There you go. That's what it, that's what it feels like. But I've been playing. Uh, I bought Control because it was on sale. I've been playing through that. I like it. I like it a lot. I got the uh, the season pass thing too because that was also on sale. Epic Game Store has like a ten dollar coupon thing as well. So savings all over the damn place. So I've been playing through that. Excellent. I heard Control is good. Yeah, I'm about. I played seven hours of it yesterday. It's and pretty fun. I, I am hoping it comes to a system that I regularly use. So. It'll. It's on like all the consoles. It's coming to Steam sometime. <sighs> the literal only reason that this PlayStation Four has come out of obscurity is for Final Fantasy VII Remake. And as soon as I'm I done with so. it, it's going to be disassembled and put back into a dark corner of the unfinished part of my basement, where it will wait. Are you gonna get a PS Five? Not yeah, a last of us fan. That's happening I'm, next month. I'm holding off on PlayStation 5 until I, mean, I see exclusives that are worthwhile. Considering yeah. the shit that fucking Naughty Dog's been pulling, is anybody a last of us fan at this point? Yeah, there's, there's tons of people that are still Did you fans. see that they DMCA'd fucking Sony? Yes, that was so <laughs> funny. But that I'm not surprised because Disney, sued, Disney has sued itself and won so like big companies you know, don't well, wasn't it someone at sony that actually leaked the the last of us shit no well, yeah, that was they, that was a they, they yeah, it was a it was a staff member that was pissed off but the thing no, is it wasn't they, they, they proved that it wasn't it oh, was a hack oh, in it was, yeah that's there. right yeah it wasn't someone from naughty dog yeah they've been fucking dmcaing people for fucking memes well, it's like it's like, yeah, that'll get the internet on your side. But it's funny because they DMCA. Sony posted an ad, like with like a trailer or something for the game, and whoever's doing their stuff, yeah. it, they DMCA Sony's Twitter post for the ad for their own game. I think it's, it's fucking hilarious. It's really weird, but like that was the state of play, like the state of play for like first uh, gameplay, like actual gameplay. Looking at you, Ubisoft. Um, that was actually shown today, and it looks it looks cool. But I don't have a PlayStation, and I don't plan on dropping multiple I mean, hundreds of dollars to get. I, I, I loved. I I used when so the original Last of Us came out. You know, what six years ago, seven yeah. years ago. It was even like um, that. It was a it was a PlayStation 20, Three game. 20, yeah, it was a PlayStation 20, Three game. Was it 2014? Yeah, 2014. 2014 I think so. About six years ago. Um, oh, and you know, at that time I was older. I'm even older now, but um. I used that game when, when people get in an argument with me about whether or not video games were worthwhile or whether they whether or not they were art. I used The Last of Us as my example that said, if you play this game and don't feel something in the first 30 minutes, then there's mm -hmm. something wrong with you as a person. Because I think a lot of people it's either use that or Journey. Yeah. I was gonna yeah, Journey was thing. another one that I would use. Firewatch. I think the thing with the thing with Journey was that Firewatch I don't think because Journey didn't have a fail state. I think the bigger argument with Journey, if it's the game I'm thinking, of, was that it's not. It wasn't really a game. It was just an interactive movie. Like you yeah, I mean, you walk around and you you're like a dude with a scarf. But and I your think scarf that gets bigger. I think well, that was the bigger argument with Journey is that they were people were trying to give it like awards and stuff for game whatever. But it's like, is it a game? Yes. No. Or the big thing, the big it's thing, like, or the big twist about game. Journey, and I'm gonna say this because Journey's been out for fucking years now. It's like the big decade, twist with Journey is that when you meet up with another character. And you think it's an NPC basically the whole way through. Yeah. And then it reveals to you at the end that you were actually playing with another human being. And that was the big 
for me, the big twist of that game and what really made that game amazing. Now, the problem with Journey, though, is, is that once that's revealed to you, it, it doesn't, you know, you play it again, and it's never as special as that first time yeah. um, that you play it. Um, now, sure, you played again to like analyze like the the lore bits and stuff that drop in there about the world. But the first time you play that game, and it's revealed to you that oh, by the way, you were actually playing with another person. I was That's like, the oh, first, shit. it's the first game soundtrack to ever win a Grammy. Yeah, very true. The music was incredible. And it was a. It was also a good way to get a non gamer to play a game. Yeah, it's um, just it's just it's casual easy. enough to be like. Yeah. Yeah. And it's short. You know, you can. It's yeah. literally the length of a of a movie. It's like an hour and a half long, and you're done. Um, but it offers something special. Yeah. Which is nice. But you know the just the the acting the voice acting in The Last of Us I still think is the best voice acting I've ever heard. Well, like uh, or seen the acting in general, because that was that was one of the ones where they had like the full facial capture things. Yeah, and, like, yeah they mostly their there. faces That's to true. do the. It's the best acting in any game, and, and there are moments in that game. Obviously, you know the first thirty minutes is heart wrenching, but there are other moments in that game that even six years on, I don't want to spoil. That literally just made me set my controller down and look at the screen, like, and just. I've never been more immersed. The in a end game. of the game was infuriating, my boy. Yeah. I was like, no, why yeah. would you do this? I'm going to, I'm going to bet that the last of us two is literally just going to be me the whole time staring at the screen going, why would you? Everything is oh, your yeah, fault. For sure. Everything and is like, your fault. I have not looked at any of the spoilers. <laughs> I haven't looked at any, I, I've, I've looked at literally the official like release advertisement previous for it. And that's it. So I haven't been spoiled. I agree. Not I, much. Mean, I um, pre-ordered it, and that's all I know about it. I know yeah, Sid's been doing a Naughty Dogs DMCA something, and I'm yeah, I'm avoiding. Oh, like I hear, you know, they're doing some weird shit. And you know they're, what? They're doing some. Pretty the thing about it though is like, stuff. like between Naughty Dog and Sony and Bethesda, you got to remember that like, the the people who make those decisions are like. Yes, and they're, they're freaking way, out because yes. they're businessy. But the devs and like the artists and the people that are actually making the game are they probably just as like. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'll take a I, listen. I don't want any leaks, but yeah. you know I'm a kind of guy that when Blizzard was like, "Hey, remember when we said that you should tell us when we make mistakes and we're global players and also I don't know we're just gonna ban anybody that says anything about China." And then people were like, "Wait, what about that? No, no, the first two were good. What about that last one there? <laughs> what, the, what was that last one there?" <laughs> So now, my, my, my oh, yeah. and then the CEO came out and he was like, I am sorry that I need to do something like an apology. And everyone was like, yeah, he's apologizing. He's like, no, no, I'm not apologizing. <laughs> what I want to say is we were slow in rolling out the correct response. And the, the crowd at BlizzCon was like, yeah, he's apologizing. And I'm like, mm. he has specifically not apologized. <laughs> so, but I will say my, my, my favorite moment in all of gaming, now I've been playing video games since the original NES came out in 1985. My favorite moment in all the video games, and I, and I won't Parasite say Eve, the it, reveal. But um, is in The Last of Us, and I'll just say uh, it's not even a cut scene, but it's the giraffes. Oh, and yeah. The moment with the giraffes is my all-time favorite moment in any video game that I've ever played. I, I couldn't believe how much that moment in that game affected me because it's nothing but death and dying and just fucked up shit. And then that shit happens and you're like, oh, wow. Like, it's one of those you know, moments where it's like, there's hope for this world, you know? You know what's a little fucked up? This is like, uh, they had Troy Baker on Drop Frames. He's the voice mm -hmm. actor for Joel and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Troy Baker. He, said, He's a voice he actor said something, everything. yeah. Well, he said something along the lines of where The Last of Us 1 was about love, but The Last of Us 2 is about hate. Mm. So, yeah. well, if I you hate thought, Troy if you, Baker. So, well, if you least, thought 1 was like fucked up, number 2 is going to be like, you ain't say nothing yet, okay? Ellie's going to have a grudge, I think. I mean, because she's been fucked with pretty much since the whole pandemic thing happened. If, so. I, you're avoiding spoilers, so I won't like, but the state of play today was like how brutal the combat and stuff is. And like, 
hopefully they have a like i oh yeah i've seen the combat will. like it's i trust that they anime. will because it's super brutal but it's like if they don't have a good story reason then it's just like murder simulator 2020 all right sure like it's brutal like where the first one was gruesome this one is like personal well, but there were some brutal ones. Well, what was the guy um, that Ellie kills? That's like holding her down in her room. Fuck, what was his name? Bill. Yeah, yeah, that dude's fucking working. Imagine like, that. That was brutal. Imagine that, but a whole game's worth of that kind of brutality. Uh, well, I mean, like, I don't the want last, to. The last game that off. actually kind of like moved me a little bit was it? What was it? I'm trying to think of the game it was uh, Spec Ops: The Line. That was mm. a fucked up game, but it was <laughs> fucked up in a way is like there were no good like that game was just yeah. like you choose between bad shit and bad shit. And it's just like well, it was you know it was very much a is, the realities of war like that game like is based game. off of Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just that was a game where it's just like it's amazing. It's game. like it's just it, oh, you know, it's a great game. It's everything is it's just like the whole game is just hey, uh, it's just like Russian history, and then it got worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just, my, it was just everything feels, just kept getting worse but it was, my top it was feels like, man, this games is, was like you know. bioshock one bioshock infinite and then the prince of persia game i don't know what it was but at the end i was like damn <laughs> can't be dead <laughs> like the original per- prince of persia no there was one that came up for the xbox 360 when they were going through like reboot reboot oh, was it sands of time or whatever some, yeah no it wasn't sands of time it was like i think it was just prince of persia like flat like full stop but it like was the you, first reboot of it? Yeah, it was you doing, like, the Prince of Persia doing stuff like, uh, it was trying to do, like, Assassin's Creed sort of mm. traversal. And the combat was really cool, actually. It was, like, it was like Assassin's Creed traversal mixed with um, Arkham Knight, like, Arkham Asylum-style combat for that. It was interesting. But then you had an, an AI companion that was, like, not useless. And that, by the, by the end, I was like, Damn. This this one got me and I didn't see it coming, but it's awesome. Anyway, games that make you feel stuff. So atomic, especially out of the field. Um, my answer will be very short. Uh, wrist still fucked. Painkiller still no work. Atomic in pain and dealing with technical problems with PC shit because companies can't fucking make stuff properly. That's pretty much it. It's been my week. So, okay. yeah. Emily. Huh? I'm ready to play. Let's play. Well, I got one more thing from my t- my my town. All right, you do you do that. I'm gonna get a drink, man. All right, damn it. <laughs> this joke was literally for you, Dave. Well, you still got his headset on. Uh, as you might know, Seriously. I'm a fake Grand Order maniac. Love playing fake Grand Order. Uh, today and today only is one of the four. Uh, so out of like three years, this is one of the four opportunities to do something called the hunting quests that allow you to face specific enemies that always drop specific materials that you need in order to... uh, They, like, gate how much you can level your character until you sacrifice materials to them, essentially. Uh, And the materials are also used to level their skills up. And so there's a specific material called the Evil Bones, and I needed, like, 150 Evil Bones, which is a lot of fucking Evil Bones. Like, conceivably, if I was to do this normally, it would have taken me weeks. Uh, and today I got about two-thirds of the Evil Bones that I needed, so all I'm saying is today I just really needed the bones. I wanted the bones so bad. So if you're so ever... What, what you're saying is that... No, Dave, I... The game no, no, just before designed... you stop, before you start, this whole part was a T-ball for you. Go. <laughs> right. I, I put it up on the so, post, the ball is there. Home run me. All right, so what you're saying is the de- today, the hunting quest... Yeah. Or whatever the fuck you call it... Yep. ...is the game they designed, and then the game that you play every other day is the game that they gave you so this this one is probably the one that it's it's designed to be and this is the one that you get spoon fed every fucking day (laughs) i gotta be honest i thought you were were gonna do a low-hanging fruit joke i thought you were gonna do one of the bone jokes like that's where i thought you were going you went game developer instead i was gonna we already got the ashy ball joke i was gonna say that if if ap has his like head down Looking like he's looking at his phone or something. He's deep in the bone zone. <laughs> I mean, deep in the bone zone it's is where I'm going to be during zone. the break for this show. 
Oh shit. <laughs> you should Oh man, Dave, you should make you should make a whole Call porn game out of this one event. I have that game time. on my phone because Arthur talked me into it. I think I've played it once. That's fine. Look, it's not for everybody. In fact, I'd say it's not for very many people, but I like it, so that's where we're at. Oh, open it, up. it did tell me that there was a, that this is a work of fiction, so that's good because I thought yes. it was going to be oh app version error <laughs> that's because you haven't updated it in about eight in to ten year. months yeah so there's a, there would be at least six or seven gigabytes that it needs to do fuck yep. that and the engine's about to get updated in june so that it doesn't lag on iphone anymore and we get the new oh, unity man. stuff so it'll that's be a great. unity game man, i don't know crap, it's it not like it's shit. not a unity game i think is the problem but they're like overlaying extra stuff on top of it uh they've said there's that there's probably like one unity asset in there or like <laughs> one thing they bought from the unity store and they have to put the logo on it they've said that fgo2 uh, pushes as far whatever client they're using to make it it's pushed as far as it possibly can be graphically and then when they make fake grand order 2 if they make fake grand order 2 they're going to start with the game whole new engine game making <laughs> studio too all right so here we go we're getting started previously on this show <laughs> uh y'all used your time powers for once some would say wisely in order to navigate all the challenges you have up this far uh you killed a sorcerer wizard in his sleep you prevented a young woman from going insane oh yeah you... we did so good and got mm. no xp for it <laughs> yeah. well i mean yeah. that just means that I was, I was talking to somebody about this the other day it was like yeah it's like I, actually, I think it was Pondo, because I it was just weird. Yeah, people complain like, to me all the what, time that I never give any XP. I never it, listen. It, it, I was just, it was just weird I, because, <laughs> like, my Friday game, my Friday game is we're doing Milestone, right? So the GM yeah. just decides when we level up, which is fine. And then, you know, it was just when we started doing because I guess I started doing Pondo's game on Sunday, like you know, I don't know, three four weeks, and then it's like it just I hadn't been in a game for a while where we just got actually just got XP you know for whatever it was just in this one it's when we kill stuff and you know my other games are all milestone it just felt weird and i was regarding it's like he's like oh you get the xp i'm like wait what he's like no i'm giving you guys xp and i was like this is weird to me this just felt weird it's just i just yeah. it's not a common thing for me well we we had gotten xp for like story beats before yes but you yeah, don't get them for getting, doing the getting, same story stuff over and getting over xp again. every week is just something that i haven't had in like almost yeah. all of my games in a while and just it was weird getting xp consistently again for just you know doing whatever you know yeah. just whether if we beat the engagement whether we do it diplomatically or trick them or whatever you know it was a conflict resolution does how you do it is irrelevant it was just that conflict was resolved so it's just getting xp like that was just I had to get yeah. used to it again. It was just felt odd. You get that for I this show. You know that, right? Like you don't I understand mostly logic. get it for killing. I understand your logic, AP, but I also, I'm also hearing being a <sighs> good person doesn't pay. So <laughs> I would, I would counterpoint this. Uh, experience points are not the only currency one uses to engage in this game. Uh, Storyline, plot reasons, but also equipment and money. Are but also, all this currency the system, is a literal currency which you gained via doing this. The Spoken system, like a true DM. Thank you. The system doesn't really care about that, though. Yeah, true. Uh, well, you don't get you don't get new levels for being a nice person. You get new levels for killing shit. Uh, okay, Adam Cobble. Uh, the thing is, <laughs> wow. you could you could be a level twelve wizard with no money and thus no spells and live in a hovel. Or you could be a nice guy and live in the Count's Mansion for a couple days here, getting servants delivering you things, and full plate armor and a saddle for your giant aunt. Like, there are choices that we. <laughs> that we I'm made. just saying. I'm just saying. There's a there's a chart of XP, and there's probably something in the GM's book that's like, these monsters are worth this much. Yes, there of this is this thing that the characters want really badly. Correct. You want to expand your character's options, and my uh, point would be that there are many currencies with which you engage with the world around you. XP is but one of them. 
And some would say it's not even the strongest because with a lot of money, you can just buy legendary items and use them to beat people to death. I'm going to make friends with the entire town and get them to kill Stalvin Black. <laughs> that no, is how you X, form an army, so I would say that XP is... We would because we're not why, the ones killing him. A whole why bunch did you of, think I was trying to start a religion? <laughs> yeah. That religion of funny walks. What you do is you get 300 to farmers silly walking towards a demon's castle. Look, we can go full. We can go full uh, red army if we have to. I will sacrifice them all. Okay. And kill, you know, kill us, son of a so bitch. it's the morning of the seventh of wet. You are all staying overnight in Count Bondarox, one of his guest homes. Previously, oh, yeah. you were relatively imprisoned in this place uh, during one of your timelines, but in this timeline, uh, you are. How should I put this? Not imprisoned. You are honored guests who are given anything that you ask for. Uh, wines. There's no dwarven beers or anything like that. There's some fairly sure. passable human beers available. Uh, a lot of like. Can I see through it? <laughs> yes. Yes, you could see through it. Not good enough. Sorry, they don't make any impale ale. They don't make imperial stouts here. Those bastards. No, sorry. Look, if I uh, if I if I can hold up the glass and see the bar on the other side of it, it's not good enough. There. For what just, it drink, lacks, just drink a whole bunch of them. It won't matter. <laughs> for what it lacks in quantity, because this is the southern area and it is a harvest area, uh, specifically for grains, uh, there is plenty of quantity available for you. Um, you know that Kelly has been fitted yesterday for her full plate, which will specifically include tail armoring. Oh, yeah. uh, how long, oh, how long did that before. take again? It's going to take you three days for the full plate armor to be reforged and five days for the saddle to be uh, smith for ya boy. Right, now, right. When, you, when you wake up in the morning, there is a, uh, <laughs> a second Gygax <laughs> waiting for you. It is not Giga Gygax. It is a tiny Gygax, like the first Gygax you encountered. Just Gygax sitting, Prime. It's sitting at the front door and is going like this with one of its Gygaxes. Oh god, it's like my fucking cat. Mandibles? No, no not mandible. The, whatever you call their legs. Maybe legs? they're just called legs. Listen, uh, I, I've seen a chart of what you call a horse's different parts, so I'm sure there's one for ants, but let's call it a leg. Said Gygax is pawing the door with his Gygax. Is his <laughs> hand also a Gygax? Yes. It's, oh, it's Gygax it is, is all the way down. Yeah. Gygax is also ditto. It's just a blob of the same material. Uh, awake first is Finley Longbottom. So, Finley. Yes. Uh, when you wake up, I want you to imagine that this place is kind of like the the area that it's in does not match the level of beach villainous that it is. Uh, this whole place is up on a little bit of stilts. There's lots of um, like breezy curtain ways in order to section and cordon off places. Uh, there's a nice big fireplace, but other than that, there's like huge windows that you could open up to let breezes through. And in, in one of the windows, a servant is just like, oh, hey, uh, you wake um, Master Longbottom? Fuck, I forget what my voice sounds like. Um, you're like, you're, oh, you're a human yeah. now, like, so you're just like, yeah, yeah I was sweet. like, uh, oh, uh, I am awake. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, well, uh, listen, uh, there were a couple of guys that were following you last night, and, uh, well, you know, we turned them away, but it, it seems like one of them might have been up on a local church, uh, with some sort of, uh, viewing device, looking at you while you were sleeping. I w what, what kind of viewing device? Uh, yeah, you know, like we just saw it, like, like a telescope or something, you know, like a swoopy doopy. All right, look, well, that's all I got for you. Uh, I'll, I'll just uh, leave this here and I'll go. Oh, uh, all, all right, then. Hey, can't give me a description of the person, nothing? We didn't really get a good look at him. It was the middle of the night. If I was your boss, I'd fire you. Thank you. Okay, so he walks away. And yeah. as Finley turns around, we, as audience members, see that the thing that the guy left there isn't there on the windowsill when, when Finley turns. Uh, the camera helicopters and goes outside, and that guy was never there. 
There's no person walking away from the house. Am, am I hallucinating? Yes. This is part of your madness. We uh, haven't played it up yet. Right. Holy. But you believe people are following you all the time. I completely <laughs> fucking forgot about it. Okay. All right. All I haven't right. really had an opportunity to work it in, but it seemed like an opportune time yeah. for you to start getting a little paranoid. Can we call all this right. madness swoopy doopy? Sure. Swoopy doopy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the rest of you wake up over time. Maybe you tell me, are you like sitting at the, the, the breakfast table, like looking at your food? Like, oh, this is like, what is happening here? Uh, so uh, well, obviously I'm like, um, now I'm completely paranoid and I, I don't want to eat anything that's been put in front of me because now I am <laughs> specifically <laughs> afraid of someone is fucking with me right now yeah um so are you just sitting there not eating so you're not eating your breakfast no what did, what did, uh can you i'm sorry what did the guy look like that was talking to me uh nondescript uh slightly nordic gentleman strong nose human human okay uh five o'clock shadow beard like maybe you didn't shave this morning Who who's sitting next to me Good question. Uh, I can be. I was going to steal okay. breakfast if you're not eating. Well, yeah, no, I'll, I'll look at Agar and be like, um, <laughs> I know you've got uh, things against, uh, things against humans. What do you think about the one that uh, just swung by? Uh, you weren't there for that, Agar. Yeah. You were asleep. Oh, wait, that was in my room? No, yeah, no. It was in your room. Well, it was well, in, like, the common area. I was saying that you had woken up first, and you had that encounter. Oh, uh, yes. okay. So, all right, let me change it then. Um, Adrian, I've had a human swing by. Another one. I know you're not fond of them, but uh, that might be uh, to my advantage. Uh, it seems as though, well, he told me someone was following me. But I, I, I can't be sure if I trust him, if I believe him. You know, humans coming from a human aren't always the most trustworthy. I, uh, I was uh, asleep. I don't, uh, I don't. Uh... I'll, I'll tell you what. If I see him again, he kind of had a, a Nordic look to him. Big burly man type. Right, 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 right. If I see him again, uh, I'll let you know. And, you know, yeah. introduce you even. Do you need to? Or, uh... So, you guys are I'm being... I'm not very hungry. On, I don't on, know if you'd take... want to eat this either, and I take the plate and I, like, throw it in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys, your breakfast is uh, simple, but, again, gratuitous. Uh, we're talking, like... Um, a trowel of of scrambled eggs and uh big ham hocks you know we're talking like ham steaks half inch thick uh i, I i'm gonna i will if if they'll do it i you know i want to get me a fried egg but you know it's like one with like you know just so you can pop the yolk you know it's, you know everybody knows you do proper fried egg it's okay mm -hmm. yeah i bring yeah. you a, a tray of like 12 of them fuck yeah dude. on silver i'm all about it you guys probably for the first time ever are eating with actual silverware. <laughs> this fork has too many prongs. Doc, Doc is not. He's eating with his hands. The silverware is there. It's looking nice. Uh, He's just like, I don't, I don't know. It as it's like so shoveling. You guys, do you guys know what like basic, like this is would be like the peasants or the cheaper, the less wealthy people. If you've ever seen like actual like forged it's silverware it's not silverware but it's you know made of iron but it would have like two prongs or you know this was just all beat to hell it's like this fork has two it's, you know an actual fork it's like it's, it, it, there's too many prongs on my fork it's, it's just there's something wrong so i actually think that there i actually think the fork is defective because it has too many prongs <laughs> that's what i'm focusing in on it's just the smith was not very good do six more eggs and you can just snap it off and it'll be normal. 
So all of your silverware has a sort of cursive designed IBF printed on it uh, in the initials of its owner. What was the dude's Go last down. name? Freehold. Uh, yeah. Right. Something something Bondurak Freehold. Ian really? Bondurak Freehold. Yeah. Damn. I mean, if they just if they keep bringing me food, I'm just gonna keep shoving it in my face. Count count Ian Bondurak Freehold. Where's the seat? <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. It's all coming back because we we cleared out a bunch of shit for them, and like it was like didn't like people keep coming in like and be like, oh yeah, no, we we took care yes, of that. Yes, you were like, all right, yeah, we we solved all these problems. You you solved we the just, goblin problem. You solved Glimo's problem. We went up to the quest mission board, accepted it all, and just turned it all in at once. No, no, you did happened. the thing where you haven't even accepted the quest yet, and you turn it in. You accept it, and then it, it, it miss, like, immediately no, no, you never even. No, no, you can do this in the Fallout games, where you I, don't I even know. accept a quest. You finish the whole quest, and then you go uh, to turn it in, and uh, they're like, true. there's a problem in the local museum. Turns out raiders are there, and you're like, actually, we killed the raiders. Here's his head. And you're like, okay, well, that problem solved, I guess. Man, Here's some money. very strange that I, as a player character, would want to take his head with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it gave me the option, <laughs> so I did, and I'm yeah, glad like, that I brought it with me. You know, what you go to throw it out, you go to throw it out of your inventory, and it's like you cannot destroy quest items. It's like, wait a minute. All right, mm. Skyrim, calm down. One of my Skyrim quests <laughs> got bugged because I killed, I killed the troll and got the book from the chest before I got the quest. And then I got the quest and it sent me back to the cave, but there was no book in that chest. It was in my inventory, but I couldn't give it away. Yep. So and that folks is why you play on PC. So you can advance quest stages. Yeah. So what's the plan? Do yeah. you guys have five days of potential uh, downtime? Uh, you still haven't let Gygax in the house yet. Gygax is still just baby Gygax is out there. Uh, Gygax. Oh, I'll let him in. All right, so uh, we're, we're in, when he comes in. Gygax just kind of looks around and then meets other Gygax, and the two of them just stare at each other for a while. So I'll the, ask, the I'll Spider -Man ask the big Gygax, thing. what's what's going on with this? Like, what does he think? Oh, like Giga Gygax? All right, Gygax he's just, yeah, yeah. So Gygax is just like this is unusual. I, you know, I have a condition where I do not communicate on the same wavelength as other ants. It is why I was outcast by Ant Society. So I'm unable to communicate with my other self. Is this one of those things where you remember being here or not really? Or no, I'm from a different timeline. Uh, that makes sense. From an older timeline. More elegant Gygax from a more civilized age. Obi Wygax, you know. I mean, I can give you some pointers if you want to raise this guy, Gax. I mean, honestly, we won't live long enough to have him grow very much, but he will be a companion all the same, if you don't mind. Of course. Well, that's disturbing, but yes. Well, he will continue to live on in that timeline. We won't just be around, unfortunately. Uh, so, I mean, Gygax says, I don't know that that's how it works. So but also, I would say that um, having some measure of, of omni-timeline knowledge myself, I would point out that every timeline is an opportunity for you to succeed. And should you not, as a paladin, as, as my partner, choose to always assume that you will solve this problem rather than fail at it, Then Gygax like sits down on his hind a aft, Gygax. yeah, his aft Gygax butt. Again, I'm sure there's a word for it. Like a dog looking at uh, little mini Gygax. Thorax? Is it, is is it still thorax for an ant or is that only a spider? No, it's, it's the same thing. It's an insect thing. There's an entomologist that's dying right now watching yeah, this show. I mean, you know, it's fine. <laughs> They're just screaming at the Every time you talk about Gygax, an, ant the, an entomologist dies. <laughs> cut, a, cut away to an open window, a scream, and a, a thing of like pinned up butterflies out the window. <laughs> okay, so I guess it'd be his abdomen. Abdomen's the bit at the back, thorax is a bit in the middle. <laughs> Damn. I'm in fact deceased. Uh, James, press X to know. Man. 
Uh, uh, mini Gygax like... climbs up on top of regular Gygax, so... Hell yeah. It's like a it's like, wait, drive me close to me. I want to hit it with my sword. <laughs> we need to get uh, we got to get more of these so we can make an ant Voltron. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> the Last dream time, of you know, real Giga Gygax is true. Arthur, right. Arthur will eventually let me. My ultimate mega power of all the timelines converging will just be summon simultaneous Gygaxes. No, I mean, you got to the get them in order. You have Gygax, Neo Gygax, Gygax Zero. Gygax you know that scene from Avengers when they all come out of the portals? Yeah, it's called Portals. It'll be like that. It's the name of the It'll scene is like... Portals. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's also the name of the soundtrack that plays at that moment. <laughs> so, well, anyway, Roar it'll be comes that, out of a portal, stands on some rocks. Two different he, he comes out of the portal come out of the portal. portal, the portal <laughs> <laughs> but they try to stand on the same rock. Yeah. No, it's like there's a big pile of rocks and a little pile of rocks. It's like the, the hammer scene. <laughs> you know? I get the big one. <laughs> Hey, it's all about seniority, man. Man, they both uh, look last... at each other's pants and they go, that, "That's Flummy his ass." <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't okay. I don't know if I'm misremembering this or if this was in a different town. Last time we did the goblin thing in Glimo's Fungeon. Correct. This uh -huh. time you have discovered the goblin tunnel before they but, kill the employees. Yeah, but we... I remember. The last time we did that, they seemed annoyed and almost conspiratorial about this goblin problem. Yes, the guards did. Correct. Correct. They were. They were. If I remember that guard's face, I'm gonna like trail him a little bit. Okay. So like... you're gonna go shadow your way through the town looking for a specific guard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. try to find the the guard that I the face that I remember. Yeah. I would like you to make two rolls: uh, perception and stealth. Okay. I'm only asking for stealth because you specifically oh, said God. shadowed. Okay. You recognize nobody. <laughs> you accuse the wrong guard. Since I failed on this perception, I'm not going to do the, the free pass without trace for stealth bonuses. Okay. Because sure. I didn't. And... Oh, God. Wouldn't have helped oh, anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, good, good start. We good get a start. montage of you making your way through the town, and instead of you following guards, there is a shadowy figure following you that you never see. Every time you turn around to check and make sure you're not being seen, they like they disappear. And not like Sherlock Holmes, they put a lamppost in front of them, and you're like, ah, oh, I wonder if that's a person standing behind that lamppost. But of course not. No, that couldn't be it. They like are extremely skilled at stealth. Uh, I love, <laughs> and there's, I love, there's not magically in any way they're just very good it, at disguising is it and, like uh, the perception check like i can't really know where they are correct they're oblivious to so i can't followed. even like a place where i suspect them to be like the the shadowy person following me nope and yeah. you're like stepping on like tin cans and broken glass just like all the, the, the cat leaves. <laughs> I love that you said montage because right now there's a, a metal version of Push It to the Limit playing, and it was just the timing was just <laughs> perfect. So yeah, one you of, look... one of my I gained a new madness where I can't. I have to externalize my internal monologue. <laughs> there's that that uh, Captain that, is lost. Like Starting <laughs> four, two, five, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, yeah, it's not that you. I mean, you don't find this guy, but it's not for lack of trying. You just right. simply, it's a large town. You know, there's thousands, there's over 10,000 people that live here. Uh, it's hard to, like, pick out a specific guard. There could be hundreds of guards. Uh, yeah. And, of course, they're not all on duty at the same time. You check out at the Western Gate, though, and at that time, you bump into somebody, and it's like, Oh, hey, whoa, sorry there, friend. Uh, and you turn, and it's Glimo brushing off his robes, and he's like, Hey, uh... Look, can you take this? Uh, I, I don't know if you have any kids or anything, but uh, I, I'm opening up my establishment now. It's a, it's, it's called the Fungin. It's an entertainment for, uh, for, for the young folk, teaching them, you know, history, economics, uh, mathematics. Do you and, have illusory monsters? Uh, how should I put this? I mean, we do have a, a illusory monster from time to time, but we've been we'll working be here this with... afternoon. She loves those. Uh, okay, I'm, most of our monsters are actors in costumes and makeup, but 
yes, I am skilled with basic illusion magic. And he like uses silent illusion in front of you to like have like a, a bone dragon be like, ah! but it's it's a bone dragon that will fit in a five foot square so right. it's like a small bone dragon and it's like ah, and it breathes fire it's like a collectible like an 18 inch statue and version i'm i'm making crying noises but because it's a silent illusion it does not in fact make noise yeah but like judging by how river acted on the ship yeah i'm like she'll dig this okay she'll i want to remind you that she's a young adult <laughs> well she's still only a few weeks old like in, tradi- <laughs> yeah, in traditional in traditional time sense <laughs> yeah. not in the weird stage. you are correct <laughs> I forgot about that. but she, but she did extremely enjoy that from what i remember so, yes yeah so. that's correct she loved going on your ghost river cruise um all right he's like yeah okay cool man like like amazing you know you're like the third person that said yes and i've been handing these out all afternoon actually i've been talking about uh, the the fungin for uh, uh, a couple weeks now but it seems like it's hard to get people in on that and, and the guards uh, apparently found a secret hole into the fungin who knows what bad things could have happened in that old well <laughs> yeah someone could have died or something but someone could have died uh, i mean i i don't think they would but i mean it's always a possibility if someone were to like fall down the hole or something you haven't seen I guess you see guards all the time. This might sound stupid. No, I, I know all any... the guards. <laughs> I mean, I I know I don't seem like much of a wizard now, but I went to college <laughs> and I I am proficient in spells, so I volunteer to help out the guard from time to time with some you know minor so, work. And I went to Harvard. I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> New Avalon I... Institute of <laughs> Science. <laughs> I, here's what I, I mean. Here, look, here's what I imagine, right? You know, some guy went to yeah, he went to whatever some wizard school, and he's got his crazy whatever, and then because he couldn't get a job anywhere because the market he's wearing shit. a fucking he's college working, sweatshirt. He's wearing. He had to go get get a job at the Fungin. No, uh, he's he's a freaking like amazing. So many acronym like PhD, MD, whatever rocket scientist in his own country out, but when he surgeon. comes here he's a dentist yeah he's, a dent- he's, you know, he's not even a dentist he's a taxi. Just, you know he just, yep. yes <laughs> uh, too, i have seen this story far too many times yes yeah. uh yeah but uh i'm gonna ask him if he like knows any guards that seem suspicious in a weird Sus- ah, i mean i trust all of the guards i mean some of them have taken a little bit of an interest in my well okay maybe i don't trust all of the guards i mean there are some rumors that members of the guard are working for the criminals you know like the the underboss and all of the, those people I'm sure that's just rumors. All the guard around here seem pretty on the up and up, and there's no one who would enter civil service in order to get ahead for themselves. Absolutely not. I wish I was with Doc is so bad right now. Unless <laughs> Gleemo. You well, treat we come back? like a saint. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if one of these rumor suspicious guards comes by, can you make sure to speak to them while I'm well, we're in view. This is like a signal, and I will. I have my suspicions. Oh yeah! Listen, I have the whisper cantrip. I don't know if you've done that before, but I can just be like, pss, 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 and you'll hear it as if I was saying it to you. Wonderful. Oh, I got Do you. That. I got you. I've Look, some people say whisper action. not a very strong spell, but yeah, it, it can help. be invaluable. Yeah, especially when you need to get creative during an exam. I wouldn't have thought of that. Can, can I people, would can not people have... teach other people spells? Because I don't know if Whisper is in the... So uh, you can teach can... him spells, but he can't teach you spells. Yeah, wizards can... You can copy, they copy spells down and shit. Yes, and, you could and... make... A, well, he can make scrolls that you could potentially use if they're on your spell yeah. list, but he can't teach you spells in that. Right, because I've been but trying you to... you like... could write spells down for him, and he could add them to a spell book. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out if I could learn whisper or message for so long. If it is in in your spell list, and so, well, there there is a feat I believe I that allows you to that. learn spells that aren't normally on your spell list. Yes, there is. Um, there's but I didn't take well, there's, it last time. there's a, the uh, various class initiates, and then there's these spell sniper ones that also do it. 
So it is possible, and of course you could cross class into something, but there there's a feat that will allow you to do what you wish. Um and I think there's a feat that specifically lets you take cantrips, but you know well, I'm, yeah, there's there's the initiate one that lets you take cantrips, and then there's spell sniper, which lets you take I wanna say it's cantrips and then some first level spells. I don't know. Yeah. It's one of I the don't make D and D characters. I run D and D. I I never get to play D and D. I did the I did like the extra con and save. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, there was there there were some ways to do it. So. so he holds a hand out for you to shake. I'll shake it. Okay. Yeah. And then he he you know he goes back through the street and it's just like fun gen entertainment for all the kids. I'm Gleemo of the Western Gate. You know me. You've seen me around. Okay, people, come on. Let's uh let's get the kiddos here. So whenever whenever the scene comes where like I'm taking River into the fungeon, I'll be like, hey, Finley, you want to come to the fungeon? I I remember the fungeon. So have your Gleemo coin? <laughs> I pull my Gleemo coin out of my pocket. Oh no, I've got it on a necklace, right? Mm, yeah. I pull I pull it out of my uh I don't know what you call a medieval shirt. Tunic? But... Tunic. There you go. Your tablet. Pull... <laughs> yes. My shirt Tabard is over a tunic. Jesus, he pink. He's like, I remember Glimo. Yeah. Something tells me, though, that uh, Glimo won't quite remember me. But that's all right. As long as the kids are happy. There's there's always pain involved in you remembering things that other people have forgotten. But that was very wise and deep. That's Thank you for that. That's depressing. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I'm full of them. <laughs> Warlock saying something depressing, it's, shocking. I'm gonna call you Eeyore from now on. Okay. It's okay. a human book reference. You wouldn't get it. Fucking that explains nuts. why that's only three letters. <laughs> and it commences. You no longer have the immunity, uh, Spoot. You're Damn. for it now, buddy. <laughs> I don't know how many how many more phrases like that I can come up with with only like three or less syllable words in them though. Cart nuts. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Cart nuts. Get your cart nuts here. Cart nuts. Get your cart nuts here. So uh, the three of you are heading together to Gleemos Fungeon. Well, yeah. Okay. Unless unless we can get a bit. Agrim to act like I guess you got like the old man face so it wouldn't exactly work. Well, yeah, no, I mean if if, if there's a child that looks like Agrim does, the child needs immediate yeah. medical attention because yeah. something has gone horribly wrong. Like I'd I'd ask Never should not have that beard. I'd ask Plus, Agrim and Kelly if they want to come along just as a day trip because we're gonna be stuck here for a while, but uh we'll see. Them. Okay, so we're waiting on how long we have all right, so we're waiting on the armor and then we're waiting on the saddle. Yeah, five it, days. Right? Yeah. Five days. Okay. Um I can't think of there's, there's other stuff else. in the city that you guys could do. What is? Oh yeah, but I mean, as far as is there anything we need to get done? I mean, because you're doing this mostly just out of curiosity, right? Yeah. Well, it's so also what happens. It's all the time. We got five days. Oh, yeah, but I'm asking: is there anything we need to get done that Kelly and I could go do while you guys are doing that? Well, I'm well, using it as a step to get to the guard to get to the guards that are suspicious. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I got that. Sorry, you. So what happened it. to Lysidia? The Great city. question. You want to go look for her? Sure. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go with Kelly. Oh, yeah. We, we like, I tried to set up a... Um, you remove call. curse on her, and you yeah, know it's going to take some time for her memories to return. Yeah. But I also set up, like, an honorable resting place for her friend's remains. Or Correct. Whatever. You you mentioned her contributions to the count. Yeah, we returned uh, um, their stuff as well. So do we want to do uh, the fungin, or do we want to do the hunt for Lysidia? You guys can do the fungin first if you like. Yeah. It won't take. It won't take long yeah, unless this turns into like a giant goose chase of. I, I, I'm almost certainly going to turn into a giant goose chase of conspiracy. <laughs> I imagine you guys. You guys. You guys pissed off, and Kelly and I probably have much higher metabolism, so we just kept eating. We're just like, you know, if they're not going to eat it, we're fucking sleeping. <laughs> we could do like. We could do like one of those classic split the party like half and a half. Yeah, things. we're yeah. That's almost certainly what we're going to have to do. And uh, splitting the party always ends well. So, Especially on conspiracy hijinks. Look, we've right. got the cleric and the paladin together. We're fine. You guys, well, we'll see. You all <laughs> arrive. Luck, I am going to, 
on the way over, I'm going to mention to Finley that someone was following me. <gasps> but you don't remember that. You, ne you never saw you that never person saw was following you. Well, did I did I get a sense that they no. were? Or this is just like camera audience? That was camera um, audience only. Okay. You're, you are being so followed, but you don't know. I mean, it was also, there's a dude. In a oh my God. So like, if I'm checking like behind me because I'm already paranoid, am I seeing that person following him? Make a perception check. That is an excellent question. Where the fuck is my character sheet? There it is. Uh, 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 uh. I'm like reaching across the table, by the way. Oh, this is oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. We're so bad right now. Jesus uh, Christ. Every Jeez. time you turn around, Finley, you do see someone following you. <gasps> uh, you never see their face. It's set deep into a hood. Uh, whenever you turn around, you make what would be eye contact and they conspicuously turn their head and start having a conversation with someone in the street, like handing them a bag or passing a few coins or taking something from them. And whenever you turn back around, they're gone. Uh, you know, like you try, like maybe once you like try to push your way back and like, as you push around somebody, you break eye contact. And when you go again, that person's gone. So it's just like a normal merchant carrying out business and I'm freaking the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you know that you are definitely being followed. It's not it's not not Daka. You are being followed. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh I'll I'll look at Daka and be like, the sooner we get down to the dungeon, the better. At least we can close the door behind us and trap the person that's following me. And I give him like the wink wink nudge nudge thing. Reverend turns around and then turns back to you and says, I don't think there's anyone following us. There's a lot of people in the street. I, that's right. Uh, I just want to become famous and buy followers. Sorry. I'm in the chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, Agrim Banhammer comes flying through the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! That's, that's all right, Reverend. Once, once, we get, once we get to the fungeon, I'm quite familiar with it. I can trap anyone that's following me. Don't worry about it. Are I'll keep always safe. this paranoid? Uh, paranoid or careful? It would explain the Is nervous sweat. Paranoia if it's just a You know how nervous and anxious sweat smells different from working sweat? What? I'm just saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's just let's just get to the safety of the fungin. It's where I feel most at home. Safety of the fungin. That as far as it, last time we were there it was full of cabinets. Yeah. So you arrive at the structure. It it leads down. It's like a staircase down that will take you to the western gate, underneath it, and then of course you know it extends under the western gate. Uh, it looks like there's four other groups of parents here, and that guard you've been looking for is nearby directing people. Uh, he's just like, okay, people, you, you can't stand here, lady. I'm saying, you know, like, can't loiter in this area, all right? I need you to move along. You don't have uh, to go home, but you have to get the fuck out of and here. And Gleemo comes up the staircase. He's like, surprise, it's me, Gleemo. Hey, everybody's here. There's, uh, you know, there's the rock man over there. Uh, I believe oh, you Finley, are. Finley squeals. You're on Earth, Ganassi. And then he, he points to Finley. He's like, and look at this guy. It's his, it's his uh, life partner and their <laughs> lovely daughter. <laughs> hey, is that is that one of my Gleemo coins? I, I, it is. I'm a huge fan, Gleemo. You, you might not recognize me. How did you me, but... get that? Oh, I, I, I love your function and I love you. Thank you. Didn't we, didn't Thank we you already so have this conversation when we entered the town? Yeah, and he yes. tried to get us for, uh, Copyright. Glimmer Glim doesn't have the best memory. Okay. Sorry, Don't that's that's it. my fault. Then he says, "Hey, I recognize you. You're the guy that stole my Glimo coin." I steal. Steal is such a strong word. I I would say that I I was gifted this coin by you in another life or another another frame of time. All right. Well, the guard didn't like investigate it. you before, and this guy seems basically useless. So. 
uh, just don't do it again. You know, that's that's intellectual property. And uh, hey, look, these kids don't understand that. Why don't you guys come downstairs? Look, but we're I gonna... never profit off your intellectual property, Glimo. Don't you worry. I appreciate that. Why don't you all come downstairs? We got a place for the parents down here. Then we're gonna take the kids. We're gonna teach them a little bit about adventuring and give them a first run through. Diagonal wipe to the logo of cart nuts is the Glimo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a. Uh... It's a, uh, you know, I'm never going to try and profit off your IP. What do I look like, a dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he explains that they're going to do a, you know, like a 15-minute safety drill for the kids on, like, don't hurt yourself using this equipment. Uh, like, tips for how to get through it and, like, don't beat the actors to death. This you know, like, end of the seatbelt goes into this end. Exactly. And, and then, the trick is, is you, you bind strafe to A and D and you don't, you don't keyboard wow. turn because your okay. reaction speed is a lot slower. No, oh you bind God. you bind the fire button to the mouse wheel. Mouse wheel. Just... <laughs> I knew where you were going, my man. Yeah. <laughs> uh the parents get like a little um hideaway place where they all can sit down on like pillows around a table and oh you know, god five minutes away from yeah like sit down together and enjoy a, a very basic meal of like bread with uh, a paste of some kind but the true dessert is that there are no children around to ruin yes exactly there's you know there's there's reading material here but it's not like magazines don't exist so it's all like travel logs uh including the limited edition glimo travel log from when he traveled to and from the royal academy of magic and all of his hijinks along the way and his brief stint as an adventurer i just imagine finley grabbing that book and growling at anyone coming near him (laughs) Uh, so today's session is free, Gleemo is explaining, but in the future, it'll be one silver a week. Uh, or if you would like to get the premium package, it's one gold a month. Uh, you can hear in the next room that Rifferin is just like, I want the knives, I want the knives. <laughs> and then they're like, Who, wh- who's the smart one that'll be the thieves tools? And she's like, that's me. Uh, and he's like, sorry, we haven't perfected the voice deafening technology yet. We're working on the sound. You won't hear them when they're in the fungin, I assure you. And then all the parents are just like, <sighs> and like one of the dads is like, I have to get back to work. But uh, yeah, good free service. And he's like, it's only free the first time. And the dad's like, free service. <laughs> um, so Daka, uh, that guard, when you were heading down here, it seems like he is up top trying to prevent people from entering the fun. Like he's he's not ordering people not to go in there, but he's, you know, like keep moving, move along, that kind of deal. Is it like him, doorway, fungin? So the way down to the fungin is a staircase, right? Uh a stone staircase set into the floor. There's no the door is at the bottom. Right. So he's at the top of the staircase with, you know, like, uh, dirt and grass pressed up against the wall of the Western Gate up there. It's basically there just, like, at the edge of town, just like, yeah, there's nothing to see here. This is, this is a guard post. Keep moving. Is there a way to be, like, on the stairs listening to... Absolutely. Sweet. So are you, like, I have to step outside for a moment then? Yeah, I'll look, I'll right. look at Finley, but, like, if Riverin gets into trouble, I'll just be on the stairs. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Thank you, honey. Because <laughs> everyone told you, oh, yeah. sucker. Uh, so Glimo is just like, what a fantastic, re- you know, you really never see those cross racial relationships around here. It's a very human town. We do what we can. I and your your daughter is so lovely. Well, you know, she's my daughter, daughter, as it were, but yes. She's... Well, they say that kids really take on the traits of their parents. You know you know that uh, human males cannot get, get pregnant and give birth, right? I, I as a human male, know. am aware just... of that. Uh... Okay, so you can tell that she's not my biological daughter. Yeah. Elves, yes, for example, I... are like <laughs> seahorses. It's just like, yes, I'm aware. Okay, so we cut to up top. You're listening to this guy. Um, Someone approaches him, and they start having a whispered conversation. Like, the thing you hear is like, not now. And then the guy's like, yes, now. And then they're... What do you want to do? 
I mean, you're listening from the staircase. You know, it's that classic dungeon. You got like one hand on like the third step. Your body is pressed up against the stone. You're listening to what's above you. Yeah, if I can hear them from here, I'll stay here. But You're going to need a perception check or you're going to need to get closer. One of the two. Was there... It's just like stairway down wall them. There's no like stuff for me to... Correct. Is there any bushes nearby? You mean if you were to go up top? No, because yeah. it's against the uh, the outer wall. Or like the... bushes, bushes with a gap that I could fit in around, because I could dimension door. You could rather. certainly, if you got to the top of the staircase, you could certainly find like a nearby house or building and like hide around in an alleyway and try to like peek around salt snake style at this conversation but this is pretty much the closest you're going to be able to get without you know like being in being in an underground facility listening upwardly is as close as you're going to get but of course you can't see from this angle if sight is important to you then yes just looking through my spells to see if I have any tricks for this. What are you trying to do again? I suppose I could use my pass with a trace racial here. Sure, you're on stone. Yeah, but this is like, this is a like plus 10 bonus to yes dex stuff so you're check. gonna try to get as close as possible up that staircase yeah okay make a stealth check there's t throw a rock distract the guard so i'll do uh racels don't cast a slot do they no no but you can only do them once a period of time right yeah, yeah. i'm just making sure i don't need to no you know you just you get a freebie slot. for you get a freebie for the racial uh so this plus 10 21. Yep, 21 okay so you get to the top and uh you hear a conversation that goes kind of like this um i heard that the willow has landed and the other guys just goes yes yes the willow yeah okay so that's what we're going to talk about here now in the middle of the street uh and he goes you know the boa demands and he, the guy goes the boa the fucking boa you want the bo you want the boa here and the first guy goes yeah the boa demands you know it's time for you to turn over the eggs and the second guy goes y eggs you, you see me you think i'm rolling in eggs right now uh it's clear to you that this conversation is taking place in thieves can yeah ah uh. I was about to say, man, Arthur, <laughs> these criminals are next level. What's going yeah. on here? Uh, they've already got that like makes perfect sense now. <laughs> later in the episode, there's a guy with like a robe, or like we're get about to get in a fight, and the guy like throws off his robe and he's got like a boa tattoo, Yakuza style on his back. <laughs> yeah. And he's just it's like him. He just, he's holding like nine eggs and he's like, yeah. oh, you want to fight? <laughs> yeah. So you think you I can am... take me? I what will... about me? And <laughs> whatever the other animal you said was uh the willow so the willow. you want to make a intelligence check no no bonus just intelligence okay like an int save i guess sure or nope. no yeah Th this is incomprehensible to you then I will... uh but you do you do with a 21 stealth briefly peek your head up and get a look at the second guy's face it is the dude who hangs out at the southern gate who always tries to bribe you. Okay. The one who you believe broke into your rooms one time and stole all your shit. We gave him a gold this time around. He should be he should correct. Be pretty correct. Yeah. Be cool, man. Uh and at the end of the um, conversation, the guard cracks him on the back of his neck with his stick and he's like move along i'm tired of your shenanigans drunkard and the guy stumbles as if he actually is drunk you know and goes ah fuck the guard pretty I can, convincingly i can use prestidigitation to mark things can i mark people yes or their clothing yes i'm gonna mark his shoe okay. or his boot or 
whatever he has on his foot. All right. I think that's only, let me look it up. I think it only lasts for like an hour or something. It only lasts for an hour, yes. yes. So All to right. Find so you it. mark his shoe. What is the mark that you've made? A um, emoji. What? <laughs> a, a poo emoji. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, so now there's now a small poop emoji with a smiling thumbs up on the back of one of his boots as he yep. walks away. Doing a little winky, winky poo. <laughs> yes. We cut sideways to Kelly and Agrim. You are looking for Lysidia. How do you want to do that? So as I was saying, what we should do is basically just try and find crying people i think that'll be the easiest way to find her she's just gone through a traumatic experience and for the most part she's pretty recognizable i mean we could just ask people what do you think i think we should go to the area that she's known to hang out in over in the um okay where I we mean, always or where we, do found we her the know first time, what so. area she's I well, mean, we, we say, so when we first came ac across her she was in that one area right so it's, i'm just saying that's a good yeah, but that's when spot. her friends were alive I'm just saying that's a good that's a good jumping off point because people in that area have seen her before they know who she is so we could go there and then you know ask her around or look that's all I'm saying just start there I don't know well I mean where where are we now in relation to where we know she's been before right I mean we could just ask the guards where she went after she left this place yesterday and if they haven't seen her I'm just saying we know where she has been before. And I'm going to so. ask one of the gate guards as we leave, Arthur. Okay. Where she went. What are you saying? What are you asking? Hey, you, helmet man, with the poo emoji on your foot. He says, I, I don't have a poo, poo emoji. What? What is a poo emoji? He like, looks at his boot and he's like, <laughs> these boots are pristine, citizen. Don't worry about it. It was, it was just... What do you Lysidia. require, honored guests? Do you recognize her? Lysidia. She was, uh, Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. The adventuring guild lady. Yes. Do you know when she I, went after? No, the, but she was here yesterday. I think there were some rumors among the city guard that she was looking for people that might match your description. Uh, specifically, she was looking for the purple-skinned. Do you know what I'm doing when I do this? I'm trying uh, not to be something, something racist. Yeah, I'm Poop trying emoji. not to be Poop racist. Emoji. Poop emoji. <laughs> He says, I'm sorry, I just, I don't know what species that is. He seems like he's made of rock, and he's purple. Oh, oh, you mean, uh, it's fine. That is incredibly racist to the people. I apologize. It, how how it, it should I address it in the future? Well, for one, don't point out his entire disfigurement all the time by doing your hand. I apologize, I didn't realize face. that was a disfigurement. I thought that was how his face looked. I've I never mean, seen one of his people before. It's like you're asking him to cover up his face. I am sorry. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you for the information. Do you know where she might be looking? All I've heard of her is that she spends most of her time on the eastern end of town, but that was when she was looking for adventurers. Yes. <clears throat> I would say look true. somewhere in town that would cater to adventurers. Uh, the North Plaza. Uh, of course, is, is where one arrives or departs when one is going to someplace important. North Plaza it is. I think that's a good starting point. Okay. Oh, and if you uh, do spot her, tell her that we will be here and she can just come up and ask. Can I ask, um, you, you are a dragon person then and a dwarf? I mean, you should know what a dwarf is, right? Yeah. I am indeed a dwarf, yes. Yes, that was not the part that was in contention. Uh -huh. Yes, I am a dragonborn. A dragonborn. I'll use that terminology. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do that. That's our, that's our word. You're a... Uh, but just, just you don't do this, okay? Just <laughs> I don't want to see that ever. What is that? What are you doing? It's incredibly racist. It represents you making fun of our tails. It's so just don't Why would anyone anything. make fun of tails? Seems like a useful weapon in combat. It's great for balance. It's good for balance. It's great for tripping. 
Yeah, right. I don't understand. All right, have a good day, ma'am. Thank you. So, I guess we'll make our way over the North Plaza. Okay. Uh, when you get there, all of the wagon loads from Freehold, the first set of the harvest, and it looks like uh, a very minimal amount of salt is being taken north. Uh, and so people are like, people are going wild. Like people are shouting numbers at each other. Things are being loaded in wagons. It is uh, insane up here for the amount of work that's actually getting done. It's like one of those things where uh, three people are standing around and one guy's working. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people up on the wagons watching one guy load or unload them. <laughs> There's something that's like you really should, if you you sit there and watch a guy for 20 minutes it's like if they would help it take like all 30 seconds to do it yeah, yeah know that goes uh, uh you actually recognize one of the wagons as being one of the Dury Sarazan company who you helped transit before uh mm. through this is the that lady doors. That yeah, so it's not that person wagon, right? it's not that particular wagon but it's that company it's that brand yeah, 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 yeah. that franchise that endeavor monolithic it's everywhere now right, man. you gotta that entrepreneurial spirit you know you gotta get in there um you know it's like the dunning kruger effect now that you know what the logo looks like you, <laughs> you, see, it you see it everywhere it's not it's not that you you know are always talking about it's not that you see boats everywhere but you talk about it once and you're like oh my god just 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 ads for boats so um when you get up there you do not see a uh a lycidia in in view immediately uh but you do see people who look adventurerly insofar as they're wearing external weather gear like cloaks and hoods and such uh their clothing is dirty and covered in blood and other ickers they have weapons and a lot of them uh there are unshaven unkempt beards all right, I'll go over and introduce myself. Uh, yeah, so the the person is like, your name's Kelly? That is what I said, yes. Okay, why do I care? I'm looking for someone. Lysidia. She ah, well Lysidia. Known. I think she's drinking herself to death. He gestures to a familiar-looking tavern just off of the Northern Plaza. Here's, I have a question. Our spell that makes us sober is that a self-cast or can it is a self-cast okay uh the tavern he is gesturing to is called the cross blades is this the one where the guy's like i have to warn you yes former assassin <laughs> yes don't come at me bro yeah no kids are allowed in within 500 feet of me so, so yeah you know. like now that this guy takes a second look at you he's like actually my city was asking about you earlier. You, you steal money? Like, he turns and, like, the three people with him turn and one of them cracks their knuckles and he's like, you do something to upset her? I'm just going to say chrysanthemum. This guy is just like, oh, okay, all right, they're cool. He turns to the other uh, guys we, and, yeah. We did some work with her and she uh, lost some people. Took it kind of hard. So, yeah, he's, okay. he's like, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. I didn't know you were with the company. Also, let me just say something real quick, and I don't mean to be that type of bitch, but you should really do a ocular pat down on the people you're threatening before you try and do that. Because uh, I haven't heard ocular pat down in a while. I'm just gonna like lift the sword out of my hilt a little bit and just like a flame will lick out. And I'm just like, because it would have been really, really, really bad for you if you tried to start anything with us i mean he he says maybe but a flaming sword doesn't keep you from choking on your own blood i kind of want to <laughs> yeah i was i was thinking about grabbing the just like tapping the hammer and letting making lightning arc across it you want to bet <laughs> try it <laughs> you wake up in a mountain <laughs> Hey, Listen, you, you're I've, had, I've had my fight milk this morning. Fight milk? Battle juice and fight right, milk. Right, right, riot punch. Yeah, I mean, when you start doing this, he's like, what faction did you say you're with? 
faction? Our business is around. I but. mean, yeah, he's just like, yeah, you'd know better than to start with me, okay? Run along. I, I can't, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sitting here just being like, I'm, I'm going to give Kelly that look of, I just want to like, it's that, that knowing look of like, cause we're, you know, we're team fighty boys. Well, yeah, you know, whatever. It's just like, just give Kelly a look of just, it's not even worth it. It's All right. It's like, just, well, I tell you what, I'm going to go get really fucking drunk. And if you're still here, when I come out, we're going to have words. And I turn around and I just head over to the uh, yeah. The like as you're leaving, these guys are like, you see the fucking stones on that one. I think she can go up against the Soundwater boys, and and the leader is just like, yeah, idiots. Obviously, they're probably from yeah. one of the smaller houses. You know the sound it makes when you throw a rock in the water. <laughs> That's us boys. <laughs> I mean, the leader just turns toward you and says, "Keep walking." <laughs> He's like. Yeah. Whatever you I, I've already I've already punch said my goodbye. All right. Yeah. So the four of them, like now that they're done messing around with you, get when you back punch to them. There's a sploosh. <laughs> yeah. Sploosh. They get yeah. back to unloading the wagon that they were standing next to and taking uh, unmarked crates out of it. <laughs> I like say, yeah, we're the wet bandits. <laughs> wet bandits. Stop calling God. <laughs> what was that Final Fantasy VII remake? What did they call themselves? The Angle of the Slums? We're the three angle trio. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on. So what was their name again? The Water Boys? <laughs> the Soundwater. 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 <laughs> It's because it's the sound that blood makes when it trickles down a rock. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to take our break now. <laughs> During that break, I'm going to go to Bone Zone. And when we come back in about eight minutes, I will have to exit Bone Zone because Bone Zone will end at midnight. Uh, just just like all Bone Zones do. And, That's when uh, the Bone Zone starts, man. <laughs> That's right. That's when it starts getting good. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the bone zone exits at midnight, and we get a That's new like, material that I isn't as good. I work in the morning, so make it quick, kind of bone zone, you know. Like, um, we'll be back in the second half in eight minutes. Stick around. Like a good neighbor, we are not here.